Hey, uh, so um, we were stuck in a little bit of traffic, and I was driving, and we were talking about all the same stuff we always talk about. Uh, yeah, this but time, uh, people don't really notice anything. That's yeah, people don't really notice anything. What's happening around? Also, uh, healthcare, because I've been finding this uh, <clears throat> bronchitis, sore throat, whatever it is. I don't He's know. He's been generally having more health problems than usual this year. Yeah, like me, like literally everybody I know. And we were like, you know, that's what's missing from the future is uh, advanced healthcare. Yeah, advanced healthcare. Like when you think about the future, you think about a couple things, you know, flying cars, virtual reality. You think about insanely good healthcare. Insanely good healthcare. Like also, also doors that go. Yeah, like, like where are they? Yeah, where are they? But uh, the as far as the healthcare is concerned, yeah, like um, I think that's why people don't think we're in the future. Like we have like it doesn't feel like it because um, our healthcare system is like just one step above barbaric. Yeah, it's like you go to like if something goes wrong with you. You can't really do anything about it unless you have like a billion dollars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like like we always envision like Star Trek with you. Like there's something wrong with you, so they take like a, like a little scanner, like scan your brain or whatever, and like, oh, it's fixed, right? We just envision simpler, more effective healthcare. Yeah, and like and, and what's so creepy, like why isn't it that way? Every technology is supposed to get exponentially faster and cheaper. Phones, TVs, um, cars, everything like that. It's like it's in 2018, but healthcare is essentially stuck in uh, 1970. Yeah. So between like 1900 and 1950, with no computers, nothing, we developed vaccines. We eradicated smallpox. We got rid of tuberculosis. We got rid of malaria. And, but you know, our part of the world, uh, we uh, <laughs> I mean, we uh, you know, got rid of parasites. You know, you know, people don't really have worms in America. Uh, like today. We got rid of a uh, hepatitis C. Yeah, and so and we developed oh, antibiotics. Else. We got antibiotics that made like got rid of like half of all diseases. All these incredible advances, sanitation, all these incredible advances. And since like 1950 to now, the only thing we've done is like hepatitis C, right? Yeah. And then like a lot of stuff is actually getting is like reversing. Like now we have antibiotic resistant organisms because we're not developing new. Not only are we not developing new antibiotics, but we're, we're not, not developing de developing smarter antibiotics. Yeah, we're not, and we're not developing any other way to cure uh, bacteria, like uh, sonic or you know, uh, using laser, just anything. You even and like uh, cancer is still exactly what we're supposed to use chemotherapy, this brutal, massive surgery. It's it's barbaric. Yeah. So why isn't healthcare advancing? Uh, why is it stuck in like 1970? 1970. Yeah, but 1970, right? Like really, if you go to the doctor in 1970 with any major illness like cancer. They do the same thing they do now. Or Crohn's disease or whatever. Yeah, they do the same thing. And, like, really, most people, we've turned to things like fasting, like intermittent fasting. They turn to, like, natural remedies. Yeah, we're going back because, to see what cavemen. Have to... <laughs> we're using, like, caveman tactics. We're using, like, silver. And, like can't afford prayer. real medicine. Yeah. You know, just uh, the rain dance. <laughs> yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, like, rain dancing for health. Uh, we're like trying to eat more vegetable, like hunting for food now. <laughs> Exercise. We're doing all this stuff because eat some grass. Yeah. Wheat grass. Because the technology is not advancing. We're actually having to go use ancient technology. Some it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's like we might as well all start like if, if car technology wasn't advancing, we had to turn back to horses. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's what we're doing with all. Yeah, everybody's like using turmeric and oh, I discovered some ancient. Who cares about the ancient mm -hmm. crap? Where's my TV? Where's the new stuff? What? Yeah, the tea helped. It, it did help. The turmeric tea helped. Thank you. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It helped a lot, dude. Uh, so that's why people don't feel like we're in the future. It's like, look, virtual reality is great and all these other little advancements. But if you got sick and went to the doctor and, like, and like, like a scan went over and all this stuff and you got mm, better, you'd be the, like, this is the future. Why even, the, truck? even the scanning technology hasn't advanced at all. It's, like, still <clears throat> incredibly dangerous. Yeah. If you get a scan, it might give you and the most, the most frustrating thing is we're seeing this stuff on YouTube. We're seeing advances on YouTube. Like 10 years ago, I swear to God, 10 years ago, you see them growing like an ear on a mouse or whatever. We see incredible studies done all the time. Yeah, they day. use... Uh, like the, the other day when we saw like um, scientists could decapitate a pig and it gets to be alive. Yeah, so they can like they can turn like m m mice essentially into X-Men. Make them super strong, <laughs> super fast. Genetic therapy, <laughs> stem, stem cell therapies for everything. Sup Superman. <clears throat> um, they cure rats. everything for rats, right? But it never translates to us. Rats so, are living a life, baby. We should have more rats. Yeah, I mean, it seems like there's ten ways to cure a rat of cancer. And, like, for a human, it's like, well, good luck, you know? 
You know, it just uh, put some nuts and berries in. Yeah, it's like a sim it's such a simplistic, like the cure for cancer is to essentially poison them, poison the person. Poison your that, entire body and hope they don't die first. And hope the cancer dies before you do, which is obviously not that smart. And then the other, the other way is we're just going to cut it out, which is something that like a, you know, like a child would think of. Like, okay, we'll cut it out. Like, I mean, it's like... Why aren't we developing like replacement work? Yeah, there's not even like just a smart way, like, the, you know, everything else gets a little bit faster, a little bit cheaper. Like, imagine this. What if uh, like the same heart procedures they had got a little bit faster, a little bit cheaper every year? So Imagine how much healthier the population would become. Yeah, so just uh, just like a heart a heart transplant. How much what longer if, What if every year a heart transplant got 20% faster, cheaper, and more effective? What if we just had a defiable, fake organ that your body could inject? <clears throat> yeah, it's another thing. Bionic organs. Um... Like, imagine how that would change the world. And not only that, it's, that's also been coming for 10 years. Stem cells, genetic therapies, but bionic organs, like like for, for diabetes. Now, there's obviously natural ways to cure type 2 diabetes, but we wouldn't even have to do that if we had these bionic uh, pancreases. That's another thing no one talks about. Yeah, no, one are, and no one's, like, the bionic hearts. We have artificial hearts, but they're so huge. Why don't they get smaller, cheaper? Uh, what about uh, artificial kidneys, artificial... Everything. The only thing I can't really imagine is the artificial digestive system, but like everything else, like why not? Artificial. We're like you see these athletes ripping their ACLs. Why don't we have like artificial ACLs? And why stuff? don't we have healthier ways to fix your, your muscles and tissues? Yeah, I mean, like it's just ridiculous. Nothing is getting better. Why not? So it's is good. it? Is we it, come to the conclusion that it's not profitable. <clears throat> right. So it's not. It's profitable. actually very costly. Yeah, so it's no, so it's, 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 it's it might be somewhat profitable, but it's not as profitable, right, as treating sick people. And so this is like, where is this? This is what I, one of the things I wish that like like neo is if we could just get a, a group of like-minded people together, you know, and really get them motivated and push for stuff. This is what we want. Like, if like we imagine how great the future would be. Yeah, we want we want healthcare. You know, like look, all these other social issues are great. Um, you know, and gender issues and all that. But where's the push for healthcare? Why aren't people pushing? You see people get so mad when their new iPhone <laughs> like doesn't it doesn't like it doesn't unlock fast enough or hundred percent of the time. But like or like they don't have as, as much emojis. Yeah, there's like this huge social movement for that, but it's like, okay, well, we're still all dying of crap that we died AIDS. from a hundred years ago. Like nobody cares. So well, what do you guys think about Healthcare, why it isn't getting better at all, like incrementally or exponentially, at all. or all these technologies we've been seeing in the lab for 20 years, like bionic, or you know. And I know there's like, you know, people are going to tell me that, you know, it's just a hard problem to solve. But, you know, Over there should, decades be, and there decades should be and decades. some. If you look at what we achieved from 1900 to 1970, and then from 1970 to now, there's something suspicious about that. Something weird. It's almost uh, like it's done purposely. We have supercomputers that have like literally mapped the human genome. They we, we fold proteins now. We know more about we have those incredible scans. We have all the data in the world, the internet, all the doctors in the world working together. And the most the biggest advancement in the last fifty years that I can think of is like the cure for hepatitis C. That's it. Are you serious? So what do you guys think about that? Like what can we do about it? I mean obviously you know what I want to do What's about your opinion? it. Yeah. So what's your opinion? I want to like make uh, an organization and like get people pumped up, as pumped up about it as they are about like fighting racism. You know, I want people every day to log on and be like, okay, why isn't this hell? Why isn't this procedure a little bit better? Or ew, I want scientists and doctors to be as famous as rock stars. Let's, you know, because I mean, healthcare is like what makes life good. You know, virtual reality is fun, but only if you're healthy, right? Yeah. So, what do you guys think about it? Oh, like and subscribe. <laughs> Watch our other videos. Yeah, watch our other videos. See you later, guys.